Hey everyone, this is Rufenexus here, and I'm going to be doing a tour of Sign Again Mod 7, which is a brand new ROM, and it's the official one, it's not the nightly build, um, for the HTC Aria, and it's the gingerbread ROM, so it's pretty advanced. So here's the tour. Um, you do get your standard lock screen, um, gingerbread, android, it is different from the HTC, and you can also change it, um, to your liking, and you just get, you know, you can, oops, and if you want, you can use the trackball to wake them up. You can turn the phone on vibrate from here, and you can obviously unlock it. Now, obviously this, um, well, can, I don't know if you guys can see that, because this wallpaper isn't very lively, but this phone, um, this ROM does support live wallpapers. Oh, sorry, guys. There we go. Um, and we'll take a peek at the Nexus wallpaper. And you can just do set wallpaper. And you have your interactive live wallpaper. Now we're gonna, I just wanna show you guys that it really is gingerbread. Um, about phone. and Android 2.3.2. I don't know if you guys can see that though. Um, this ROM is a little, it can be a little slow, it can be not slow, it kind of depends. It really is usable, so it doesn't really affect anything. Um, you do get like your home screen leap, if you want to leap from different things. Um, also a really cool widget is this one, and it just kind of makes your phone like tinted, and then you can tint it to green and a bunch of other colors. You get your, you really do get your standard widgets with Android, um, nothing more. Uh, you do get your brightness widget. I have my brightness on completely low because it doesn't look well on video when you have really high brightness. Uh, you can also change your Wi-Fi from here. Um, Another thing you probably will notice is that this ROM is, like, there's a lot of black, um, mostly in, like, the notification bar, whereas HTC Sense is, like, there's a lot of white <laughs> involved in it. Sorry, guys. Um, and they actually did that to save, like, battery, something like that. And I really like the, kind of, the black finish. Um, you get this kind of bar at the top is different. Um, now let's go in our app drawer. This does use the ADW launcher, if you're wondering. Um, and I have to, I just want to tell you guys, if I didn't, haven't told you guys already, the link will be in the description on the bottom. This mom just came out. Uh, it's Thursday today, so I think it was Tuesday night that this mom came out. Officially. This is not the nightly build, this is the official. And... Before, when I had the nightly build, I actually couldn't get the Google apps, like I didn't have the market, which was a big bummer, but I actually now have the market on here, because I actually didn't know that I could, um, there was like a different zip file, the Google apps file, that you actually also have to flash onto your phone, and I was kind of dumb to not realize that. Um, oops, sorry guys. Um, yeah, see, sometimes it kind of can be kind of slow, oh, so I kind of want to go on that app. Uh, this is the clock app. It's, you know, obviously different from HTC's app. Pretty much all your apps are going to be different from HTC. Um, and it, you know, the things that I miss from, you know, the HTC Sense is good widgets and, uh, probably a little bit more of a cleaner ROM. Not that this isn't clean, but it's just, you know, HTC just runs really smooth. And, yeah, that's pretty much all I miss. <laughs> is the... Oh, and the keyboard. I'll show you guys the keyboard. I'll go in the text messaging app. New message. And I deleted some of mine. Oh, and I actually am using the swipe one, and I'll kind of show you that. I'll just say, phone. I'm going from the side, so I can't really see and that's really what you get. And obviously you can change your input method. And it's a new keyboard. This keyboard is actually really small and it's really hard to type on, so I just kind of use swipe. But it has a really good pre um, predictive, really good predictive, like, 
thing to it. Um, yeah, that's pretty much the, just the messaging app. You can also, you know, just new messages. These are all your messages. I deleted mine, some of mine. Uh, the camera app. The camera app? I'll try to get this in there. Um, obviously, this is sitting on something, so there's not going to be anything to take a picture of. But you kind of get your setting or your settings somewhere. Um, yeah, you can like change it like sepia and stuff, which you could do on um, your the HTC Sense for this phone. And you can obviously change it to video and just record. Um, and you also get your. I'll go back to. Uh, go home. Oh, and this also can be in landscape mode. Now I just have to go back to portrait. Okay, so now I'm going to be kind of showing you guys my apps a little bit. Can you guys see this well? I'm not sure if you guys can. really hard to make videos like on a phone I'm sorry yeah, I think that's the good one okay so moving on uh, you get your calendar which pretty much just looks the same just a calendar you get your browser and I haven't tested out to see if it runs Flash yet. Um, I apologize. I I will soon. And you can just type in your web address, and it will go straight to that. And it's pretty zippy. Pretty much just the same. You just get your standard market, the new version, 